Hi Virgo Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine from Karat 144, very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Virgo. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread, love, money, and boom. And then I'm going to clarify those three cards. I'm also going to do the moon reading, and then we'll do an overall card here for you. I've already pre-shuffled the decks. For the current moon energy that we have, we have the waxing crescent moon phase. And so this card here is letting us know that the energy is gaining momentum. Uh, let's see, we'll move these out here. Everything's already been shuffled. And let's go ahead and begin. For Virgo Moon, for love. One card, please. All right. And I do want to say um, the title that I channel for you are Spells Dispelled. Um, for a lot of you, I uh, don't feel that you, I feel that there's love for a particular individual here, but I don't feel that you're in love. I do feel that this is more about bringing to light um, what's been connected to any kind of disservice or disadvantage in any of these categories here for you. So with the King of Imps, I do see... Um, a person here who's been in a connection or they may be married. We have the King of Imps. Imps is fire. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Fucus. This is not an emperor. Um, it has the energy of that, um, but it is coming out as a king. And then this Exactly. I, I haven't touched one thing, and you just heard that. Um, I just feel that their energy, um, they're just not happy if... You have any kind of progression, and you do have progression because your readings have been lit lately. Um, they're not happy about it, and they've done, they most likely have done things just as the Queen of Imps can be witchy and um, be on a spiritual level, but utilize those, um, those tools for negative. Um, I do feel that this is the case for the King of Ends here. Someone who's also very stuck in the past. They don't want to face themselves. They cannot face themselves. They're having a hard time with this. They may have um, some internal issues that are taking place where there's yet to be some healing that's done. Um, they're not wanting to face, I see this little imp here, not wanting to face the devil from within them, any kind of demons that are taking place. And usually I would see... You know, a couple of lions hanging out on the throne there. There's only one lion there. And I do see this also as a two of wands. I'm not even getting really king energy. I feel it's a perpetration of a king. Where this is more of a two of wands, a very indecisive person, or one who may have more than one person at a time and that just being the norm for them as a part of some patternistic behavior here too as well connected to some unhealed root chakra sacral chakra solar plexus energy having to do with that fire energy those lower chakras being fire colors the energy of purple is also coming through here so i'm also getting sagittarius or fucus energy as well i'm not getting royalty connected to it i just feel it's a perpetration and um, again, you may be shedding some light on this particular individual just by being in your truth and living truth. And that simply being what it is, is truth. So with the judgment card here, um, I do feel that a judgment has yet to been, um, has yet to be made. But there is something coming through. I'm getting this as an incoming tower for this person here. I'm not wanting to face the tower that they know is coming due to their behaviors when it comes to uh, partnerships or love situation. 
that you may have had with this person here. Judgment is a card of 20. It comes together to create the two. So that just bringing me back to that two of wands there. For being a hoe is what I'm hearing. And then judgment is also moving towards the end of a manifestation cycle. So the cycle is coming to completion here. Where I feel with that, you're coming into some newness by releasing what no longer serves. Let's see what we have for money. For Virgo Moon. That's a lot. I'm not going to talk on all that. <laughs> we'll see what we got. But well, we got the five of bats. It's the five of swords. Like as much as you're winning and how you keep winning and you stay winning, it's, it's triggering nightmares, triggering dreams, triggering moments for all of these people that um, want to come through in your readings in such a negative way. Um, this is doing what it takes to win at all costs, not being fair, not playing fair. Holding all the candy, being greedy, not sharing. Uh, home training, poor home training is what I'm getting. Because um, when you grow up and you learn how to play with others, this did not take place for this particular in, um, this particular energy here. And that's all I'm getting there. Uh, fives are transformative energy. Also having to do with sexual attraction. I'm just getting a lot of jealousy and envy seeing the green there. And you can see the sadness in that moon's face there. Like, what are you doing? And why are you doing that? Ten of pumpkins. And the pumpkins are pentacles. This is your energy here along with Capricorn and Taurus. I'm just seeing this as great stability over all the Ten of Pentacles is being very comfortable, having all that it is that you need, coming into even greater prosperity is also what I'm seeing here. This did come through for the last reading as well. And so what came through for that reading is um, having options and um, coming down to that one after going through all these pumpkins here, um, having these experiences and these relationships. Getting down to the nitty gritty of the one that has the true prize within it. It's just a matter of, um, you know, connecting. I don't want to say hitting, <laughs> but connecting with this pumpkin here as a part of the game here with the pinata there. Tens are about endings. This is a strong Capricorn energy. Or I just feel you've come into, it's, it came through, um, you know, you the past readings here for you where you have great fortune that's that's here for you it's destined for you and it can't be taken there's just some triggering energies who want to try to affect that and whatever it is that's happening here it's just going to simply go back to where it came from seven of ghosts so seven of cups um i'm just getting this being connected to options with this coming before the Ten of Pumpkins here and that just being what I got here with those pumpkins and having different options here that um, most likely are just meeting you at the level where you're at or you just having great fortunate energy and um, being highly spiritual and it just being a part of your destiny is what I'm getting here to, you know, be connected to other individuals who are very prosperous very rich, very wealthy, very stable energies here. And you do have options here. Options and love here too. Ghost is cup energy. And then sevens are about being on the right path, but also connected to some balance here to help you. Um, and I did mention in the last reading, you know, I was getting the energy of this being different energies of kings. Um, and then this one energy overall being the true emperor that encompasses all four king energies. And then not just being like a king of cup by itself, a king of coin, king of sword, king of wine. Left out in the cold. Um, let's see. So we have someone here who's not been able to walk away from you. One of those options here with the eight of ghosts. Eight of ghosts is eight of cups. It's about, um, you know, releasing what is... Um, not emotionally serving one here. And I just feel that uh, seeing this here, 
this being a particular energy here, you walking away from this energy and they feel left out in the cold because you have options, you've moved on and you've moved forward into greater prosperity and, um, you know, what's coming here for you that's meant for you. And because of that, someone's super salty. Ta-da. That's all. We're not going to leave that on the top. But you've got this going on here for you. I think that's the main focus. That five of bats can totally beat it. And do wish them the best. Uh, because again, what they put out there is what they're going to get back. Let's see what we have for Boo. And then Boo could be pertaining to you. Or it could be also about uh, a Boo. A new Boo thing. Um, someone that you may be coming into partnership with. Or be in a partnership with already. But it's more designed to be for you coming from love money and you the readings i've done in the past we'll see what we have for you for virgo moon i feel really chill like i got a lot of rest today today was super draining um but i was able to get the rest that i needed but just coming into your reading i just feel super chill and relaxed i feel you're completely unbothered you're already in the knowing of what's taking place again i just feel that what's coming through for your reading is to shed light on what's been happening um, as far as there being uh, some negative spells. So let's see what we have for Boo. For Virgo Moon. Comfortably moving into your, into greater abundance. You're already abundant. One card for Virgo Moon for Boo. Thank you. Three of Ghosts. Just as I said, you're celebrating and you're chilling on a daily here. And I feel that this is about being surrounded by others who are celebrating you. But you definitely being in this great celebration here. We're gonna have a funkin' good time. I got that from uh, <laughs> Kings of Comedy that wanted to come through. That could be significant. You could be a fan. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Rest in heaven, burning neck. I'm going to move these down here just because of that light there. We'll keep the clarifiers up here. But yeah, usually when this card comes out by itself, nothing else needs to um, come after it because it's just complete and utter total happiness and um, cheer, celebration, being recognized, being appreciated, having some wine, toasting, champagne, what have you, water, green tea. <laughs> whatever your beverage is um you know giving toast to all your successes overcoming also i feel you know this is about recognition of what's been happening here too and this making you stronger and being able to put yourself in a, a better position um to move away from that garbage what a waste of time on the bottom here you have the chariot so this could be, I'm getting an energy that may be coming towards you. This being the boo energy, um, possibly here connected to this. But I'm just getting overall, this is about you overcoming um, and being great and successful. And um, being a boss in your life, taking charge, being in that contemplation mode of analyzation and observation, just as I said, and seeing everything that's been going on and then taking action in the way that's best for you which is a non-reactive, non-responsive to, you know, the haters or those who are in that five of bat energy and just cannot stand you winning, which is too bad. Um, because when, you know, you win, it's like, it, it's not just about you winning. It's about everyone that's winning, everyone connected to you. I, I do feel strongly that that's what you um, you know, tend to walk by and just making sure that everyone that you're connected to is good um, has good vibe, good energy, good love, it all it being all about that sharing energy. And um, those that, you know, have had that poor home training <laughs> and just don't know how to share and cannot stand to see others um, have success, uh, just being completely triggered, you overcoming this, this is another energy of overcoming and having great successes here. But being in take charge here, um, I'm hearing that song by Remy Ma, Dying to Be Me, as I'm seeing the hearse here. And part of that song is, um, rest in peace to the bitches that's dying to be me. 
That's what I'm hearing connected to this card. There's another seven energy where I'm just getting it being about the options that you've had, making the best option for yourself and being balanced. Uh, Cancerian energy is also connected to this too. Super cool. So we'll keep this right there. Let's get to your clarifiers, even though we don't need them. <laughs> I think it's very clear. Oh, and there's the two of ghosts underneath there. Yeah, you got someone coming here towards you with that two of cups. This is, uh, again, cups energy, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and a fucus here. I'm getting that being completely connected to um, some action that's coming towards you with you taking charge of your life. There's also someone here who's coming forward and towards you here in a beautiful way of partnership. A great celebration here too. You have the two and the three of those. And I feel with that coming together as the five of those, that being the regrets of those who have lashed out or been triggered and have done really ridiculous things to try to keep you down. You're not meant to be in that position in this lifetime and it won't be as much as they want to try. It just makes you stronger and even more successful. All right, so let's clarify this uh, king of imps and the judgment. In the love section for Virgo Moon, clarify the King of Imps and Judgment Reverse. That's a whole lot. I'm not going to speak on all these either. We'll just kind of glance. This top card is very significant. I feel this is about the news that you're delivering. Dealing with manipulative people here. Wanting to affect here the energy of your high priestess energy is also what I'm getting. But I do feel that this is about an imbalanced person here. That being the last card. So you have the Page of Wands as being the news energy. This could be a specific person here who's very flirtatious. And that being a part of the King of Imp energy too. Uh, player aspects is also coming through here. Uh, someone who ain't got a whole lot. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, they're very imbalanced. And it just, it's right here, clear as day. Because they're in this Ten of Pentacles reverse and you're in that upright energy, they're just super salty. Uh, that five of that wanting to come through there. This is being very unstable, having money and it just being a draining situation. That could be, you know, what I was feeling from today um, with, you know, me moving into the energy of doing your reading, being in a very draining situation where they gain money and it just com it disappears as soon as it comes and not knowing how to handle their money. This being another example of that here with the Knight of Pentacles, not knowing how to handle their money, being irresponsible. Not knowing how to take care of it and being unstable. And there's the judgment again. Oh my God. This is another incoming tower energy that I'm feeling here with the judgment here twice in reverse here. A judgment call has yet to be made here for this particular energy here. They've built up a lot of karmas here that are not ideal. Page of Pentacle in reverse here. Um, I'm just getting this being connected to there being no newness or new start here. Connected to what it is that you may have had going on with this particular energy after there being a discovery about the manipulation. And this being the news overall, but that flirtation energy coming through very strongly there. The end. Let's go ahead and move on to your money section. We'll clarify. Um, let's clarify that five of bats energy we'll just we'll call out the section for your money section here for virgo moons clarify the money section for virgo moon three of pentacles third party situation being connected to this um i do feel now that you have um, come into greater clarity about the options that you do have Moving towards the energy of those who are wanting to work with you and collaborate with you because I'm getting that three of pinnacle being connected to some more lower vibration energy of a third party situation and it just not being fair. Someone in that five of bats energy taking all the candy and not sharing and um, it just being completely, completely, completely unfair. And then that going back to that judgment twice for this king of imps here in your love section. So a partnership that may have been designed um, for you, connected to some abundance and it being given to someone else possibly here who did not deserve it. Or just being connected to someone who was in great games and, um, you know, you being supportive of that and helping that particular individual and them not giving you your credit 
or doing what they needed to do to bring a situation to balance by being fair and sharing with you the gains that they've received um, as a part of what it is that you tr contributed and provided for that person to be able to receive those gains. Pentacles is your energy, earth energy, and then also Capricorn and Taurus. The three energy uh, is magician energy as well with third house energy. Let's clarify your final section here, the Three of Ghosts, the Three of Cups. I love this. Let's not cover that up because it's really happy. I like that energy for you. Super, super happy. And I just feel this is also to a transmutation of the energy of this Three energy where you may have been connected. This is, um, you know, overindulgence on a lower vibe here. So I do feel that that's the energy you've also transmuted away from. And even energies who have been like mean girl energy, um, that going back to the five of bat energy, uh, you transmuting that energy and turning it into great success and celebration and happiness for yourself. You're completely chill and unbothered, just as I said before. Let's uh, clarify the three of ghosts in the boo section. No, here's sirens and we have the hangman wanting to come out sideways but i did see this as a reversal um this is no longer being in suspension here and you're happy about it after releasing what it is that you come into greater awareness that's been wanting to try to hold you back by that five of bats and then all of this whole type energy um you just releasing the toxicity of someone who's been trying to stay connected to you with that energy, with that eight of ghosts and um, the five of pentacle energy there too. It just being completely toxic. And so I feel that, you know, that was some energy of the hangman where there was some stagnancy, this being completely over you being enlightened to the truth. Now knowing the truth with this three energy, that's also strong empress energy. That's also connected here. You have 33. And just as I said before, you're destined for greatness here and a lot of abundance and great fortune and great knowledge and wisdom here too. And so, um, you know, shining so bright, it just, it's a triggering effect for a lot of individuals who have decided not to do the work for themselves, but would rather lash out. And so you overcoming this with the chariot successfully creating and bringing in what is rightfully meant for you no longer being in suspension here. So this is awesome here. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, no longer taking any bullshit here. The Empress in reverse. And there's another three. Three, three, three is also wanting to come through too. I'm getting these threes connected to your sevens and that being about 10 energies of endings. But um, those being the woe energies of those tens, like getting away from ten of wands and ten of swords and creating and connecting with individuals who are going to bring you that ten of cup energy um, and the ten of pentacle that you already have that you're moving even more into here. And that's all. Let's go ahead and we'll move on here. Uh, let's see. We'll scoot this up and move that there. I don't think I'm going to do the reading for your moon card. Actually, let's go ahead. I haven't felt the need to do that. Um, I just feel the overall message is more important, but it, there may be some message in here for some of you here. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal and Congratulations to all of you that this resonates for. You really, really done the work. And if you're not proud of yourself, be really proud of yourself because you have accomplished a great deal with what it is that you've had to deal with, which I do feel and see is a lot of bullshit. This card is a very positive omen indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of. Though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. There is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome, or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are more certain you are most certainly, excuse me, on the right track. 
A turn to the moon by affirming, I know I'm headed in the right direction. That seven energy is all about that. Additional meanings for this card. The situation is full of potential. Your dreams can come true. Let's make sure we see this. More effort is yet required. Are you willing to give it? Review your goals and ensure you're still committed. Keep moving forward. The teaching. The waxing cycle is the period of the lunar cycle from new moon to full moon. And during this time, the moon appears to be slightly bigger and rounder every night. This is a very empowered and empowering time. And this is a very promising card. I suggest now is the time to make plans and to act on them, no matter when you actually pull the card. And that's the chariot too. I mean, you're completely all the way on boss mode here, really taking charge and on the right track. You're definitely creating your destiny here. Okay. These want to split. I'm going to see what's here. King of cups. And I do feel that this is the energy from within you here where you've come into greater balance for yourself. And now this person may be coming through here for you. Um, great family man who has a very loving energy, very loved and lovable. I'm seeing the art with the uh, paint sticks, the paint brushes that are in the pockets. You can see the cute little fairy there. There's flowers. I love dad. They may have a couple of children, whoever may be coming in for you. Um, or this could even be, you know, what's destined here for you connected to this person here. And this just being that overall ten of pumpkin energy that's designed for you with a lot of love and um, great partnership, honesty, integrity, equal exchange and fairness and happiness and joy and lots and lots of love and a lot of great joy and happiness and expression. And this being given here to you and provided here for you. Let's see what's on the bottom. Three of Wands reverse, no longer being in that weight energy, waiting for your ships to come in. You've done the work and are magnetizing with that Empress energy and by standing your ground. I'm just getting that strongly here with that Empress there. By doing this and being in this energy and embracing that, you're creating and bringing in what's rightfully yours connected to that King. I'm not even going to shuffle because that wanted to come through for you. Beautiful energy. Let me go ahead and grab... The story for the King of Cups, very handsome energy or a uh, very attractive, beautiful energy coming in for you. Whoever this person may be, it could be male or female. For a lot of you, though, I am getting you being feminine energy with a beautiful man that's coming through who has a lot of love for you and is happy to share that with you and for you. All right, the story. And this is a T and empathy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I already love it. The key words here are advise, accept, kind, guide, calm, wise, considerate. Very intuitive here too, I should say. Diplomatic, devoted, creative, and hospitable. Sounds very comfy and cozy. And I'm, I just feel that that's so designed and destined for you after all the shit that you've been through embrace that and really enjoy that and relax in it i just feel you're you're already in that state and you're just bringing it in more and more the story come in don't stand on ceremony mi casa a e tu casa no of course you're not interrupting us we were just having fun with my paints children you remember our friends please let me take your coats come through to the kitchen and i'll make you both a hot drink and i'll clear a space so you can sit at the table. Comfortable? Good? I'm glad that you came and that you trust me to advise you. I know you're upset, but I promise you'll leave here feeling happier. We can work it out. There's nothing that can't be solved calmly with consideration over a cup. You know me. I'm not going to say there, there. Pat your hand and offer superficial sympathy and commiserations, then send you on your way. My real empathy means I'll get to the heart of what's bothering you, even if it takes all night. That's so sweet. Remember, I want the best for each of you, and I am here for you both. I'm impartial, and you can lay your cards on my table with impunity. So if you want help, you'll need to share honestly without holding back. Can you do that? Well, that's brave of you. 
Who'd like to begin? Take a sip of tea, a deep breath, and when you're ready, I'm listening. Oh my God, Virgo Moon, you so deserve this. I'm so happy for who this resonates for. Let's complete your beautiful reading. Oh, that's going to make me cry. I can feel that in my heart. Oh, that's so nice. Really enjoy this. Congratulations. Again, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new. And before I, I keep looking at this card, I want to say here too, there may have been some distance between you and someone. And again, you're just magnetizing. You're magnetizing and bringing and drawing this in. Um, let me start over. <laughs> I hope that these messages were empowering, enriching, and enlightening here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. And welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best, Virgo Moons. Take great care. I love you. Peace.